Hello guys, myself Vinayak. Again after a chlorophyll synthesis, I have come with one more such a big synthesis which is quinine. Quinine is an alkaloid we know as already. Uh, you can see my quinine illustration videos also soon in my channel. Okay, So as we know before going to any synthesis of such a big molecules we should know its structure. Okay, so first we'll go and learn its structure. So you can see here, this is the quinine structure. Okay, where there is a quinoline ring to which if you position, give positions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So on 6th position there is an OCH3 group and, the, and on the 4th position there is a linkage of CHOH to the another bicyclic ring. Okay. Okay, this is a bicyclic ring. So this you remember. Okay, this is our structure. From here, if you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th. At 5th position, you can say it's a vinyl group. Okay, and this second position is again connected to the quinoline ring. So, now we'll start with the synthesis. First, we take the salicylaldehyde. All of you can see. See, now here, this is a salicylaldehyde. This is an amine. So, it's a simple mechanism. So always you know, remember reactants we need to remember. So only thing you need to remember is reactant. Once you remember the reactant, some reagents and some steps you should follow. Further everything as you know the product structure you will come to know. So this is an salicylaldehyde. So this bond will shift here. The lone pair of nitrogen electrons will come and attack on the carbon and we will get this structure. Now then what will happen? This step is a cyclization step. OC2H5 will go, a water molecule will be removed, a cyclization followed by aromatization, we will get this product. Nothing is there, just you will get this product, do cyclization, do aromatization, you will get this ring. Okay. Now once we get this ring, what I need to do is, I need to introduce, I need to introduce an CH3 group to the which position 1 to third position to the nitrogen. So what I will do I will take a formaldehyde to that this is piperidine ring. Okay then what I will get is I will introduce like this the CH2 and this ring will come here okay piperidine ring then in presence of NaOCH3 decomposition takes place that means this ring will be removed only CH3 will be left. So these steps are easy to remember I feel okay. So from here to here how we got and from next from this step is like from this step to this step it is a cyclization and decomposition and from here to here directly it is introduction of CH3. If you are getting less time in the examination you can skip one step directly write the reagents and uh, directly write this product. Now further what I am doing is from this step to this step, it is a reduction step, reduction of this ring, okay, in presence of H2PT and also I am doing acetylation to the nitrogen. So first I do the reduction, then only I am going to do the acetylation. So two, uh, two steps are here, first step is reduction followed by acetylation. So just what is the change? Addition of COCH3 to the nitrogen. Next, further. Further reduction followed by oxidation. So what will happen here? So again, the one more ring whichever is present here is reduced. Okay, can you see this ring is reduced and further OH group is oxidized to double bond O. Now next, what is just a shift of, shift of electrons? Just see here, this electrons, C double bond O electrons come on the O and whatever hydrogens is there, it will come here. So this is the structure which you are getting here. Okay. To that what I am adding is OC2H5 I know. Now what will happen? Further, this electrons present on the O will come to this C, C and O between C and O and again this double bond shift here because of that negative charge will be developed here, negative charge will be developed here and OC2H5 will go and it will become NO plus. So this NO plus will come and attack on the this whatever carbon is having or this carbanion where there is a negative charge. Got it? So this is the step followed by followed by this one. So now with NO is getting and attached here. 
so there is no change and whatever oc to h5 is there that will be here further what will happen the bond between this carbon now you can see this carbon and this carbon bond is broken so when the bond is broken what will happen okay and when this bond breaks this carbon will get a positive charge okay and this oc to h5 minus is there no that will come and attach here okay to this carbon so overall you will get this product this ring is going to now break okay this go ring is going to break so overall product is like this this is a uh, this one ring this is a ring six member ring and co ch3 as it is here c ch3 as it is so here now what has happened double bond n oh it's an oxime formation takes place and here ch2 ch2 c double bond o oc to h5 this is the first this is you can divide this into three parts so this is the first part of the synthesis now just you come here okay we got this product oxime formation is taking place the oxime formation is taking place and also the one more ring is broken now what will happen is now we we just do the reduction when i do the reduction this oxime is getting converted to this nh2 group okay primary amine okay the oxime is got oxime is getting converted to primary amine now one thing you need to remember is only this much is the same change oxime getting converted to nh2 now what you need to remember is just i need to write this structure in the as uh, a uh, uh, simplest form where it will be helpful for our further synthesis actually if we write as we want then we will understand the synthesis easily okay to make synthesis easily so i am writing this structure as like this okay just see here i will start numbering from this carbon like one just for my uh, this one okay two three for my understanding i am writing one two three four five six i will take this as one two three four five six just if you want a bigger numbers you five and six now here you can see now this is nitrogen is one i will take it as a down to that i will attach coch3 and two i will come on the left hand side which was which was like this right so same way it will come two three and four to fourth position what is there this group is there ch2 ch2 coo c2h5 so i will write like this ch2 ch2 coo c2h5 so this is five okay this is six now what is there on the fifth position fifth position there is an c c on fifth position what is there ch nh2 and ch3 ch3 i will write like this for my further uh, my in my further step this is this part is taking up taking us some role so i am writing like this so now for the sixth is like that only so i am writing like this so you understood how i wrote this structure both are same structures for my making to make this synthesis more easier i am writing this uh, structure into this form so it's a boat form where nitrogen is here 1 2 3 fourth position this substituent fifth position this substituent where i am writing ch3 like this now when i do treat with ch3 i end up base followed by koh or agoh you can take it's a i have written here it's an hopman degradation so you know what is what do you mean by hopman degradation so hopman degradation where it comes we use this hopman degradation to the remove removal of a nitrogen so here there are two nitrogens so where we are removing the nitrogen which is present over here okay now to remove this nitrogen what is required is a beta hydrogen we have we need right so this is the beta hydrogen so if it is a alpha carbon this is a beta carbon so this is a beta hydrogen so when it comes here this nitrogen will be removed so whatever product you will get is ch double bond ch2 here everything remains same so see now no need to make change so further i am uh, huh, now one more thing so when you treat ch3i k2co3 you can write even agoh is even it is involved in the hopman degradation right or simply if you write a hopman degradation is also enough so when you do hopman degradation what will happen this group now nitrogen is removed and whatever this group is there it is converted to a vinyl group further i am doing hydrolysis of ester okay when i do hydrolysis of ester i will get alcohol and acid right so along with c2h5oh this group is converted to cooh so there are two major changes in this step uh, this step to this step 
One is introduction of vinyl group by Hopman degradation, that is by removal of nitrogen, and one more is hydrolysis of ester, that is formation of COOH group here. Okay. Further, what I do, what I do is now. Again, I do esterification followed by introduction of this PHCO group to the nitrogen. Now in the nitrogen, there is a CO, CH3 group is there. Uh -huh. Also, there is one more change where we have removed the CO, CH3 group also and we have introduced H. So there are three changes in this, uh, sorry, this step to this step. One is conversion of CH double, uh, this group to CH double bond CH2, COOH and CO, CH3 is removed to H. Again, same thing we are doing. Again, introduced C, introduced COOET and COPH. Instead of COCH3, I have introduced COPH. Plus, what I have got is, what I am doing is, I am adding this part of the, this part, a new part, okay, which which we have. So we are doing condensation of these two parts. Now, what will happen is, now just see here, this C this OET goes, this OET goes, so I've shown here OET goes, this carbon will get a positive charge. Now what will happen? The hydrogen from here in the presence of base will be removed. So this carbon is getting what? A negative charge. H will come out as H plus, this is getting negative charge. And this carbon is now linked to this carbon. So see here, so this structure I'm writing as it is, before I'm writing because in our main structure, quinoline nucleus comes first. So I'm writing this, this, this is very easy to remember, quinoline. So if you see our main structure, this half part only, only change what we are making COOET instead of CHOH, I'm adding COOET. So that is only I'm adding to this part. This is, this is, you can say as a miroquinine part and it is a quinoquinic acid part. If you want, if you have studied elucidation, you will come to know what is quinic acid and what is miroquinine. If you want to go to the, the elucidation of quinine, just follow my, YouTube channel. Soon I am going to upload the video on Queen in elucidation. So now what will happen? This structure I am writing as it is. Now this is connected to this one, right? So C, C O O E T here, C H two, C H two here, and as it is, I am just writing here. Okay, C H double bond C H two. So almost our structure we have got. So what is the difference between the final structure and this structure? Hope you are understanding, just you need to remember. So again, I have written the same thing here. Just you can see. Again, I have written the same thing here. Now what I will do is, I will do hydrolysis. Just uh, minor changes are there, just you can see. Now this structure and this structure, we have to come from our, this structure to the final structure. So what is the difference between this structure and this structure? There are so many differences. Just we'll go through one by one. Now if you see here, all of you see here, now this is our main structure, what I've shown there. So there is no much change. We have taken this and this, we have done a condensation, you can say. When I do hydrolysis, what will happen? Obviously, it's uh, ester is converted to COOH group. There is no much change, only COOET. See, this is the change. COET is converted to COOH. So that is the change, only change you remember, okay? now. Next, when you add NaOBr and NaOH, so what changes you can see? So one is the COH is removed and this has formed a cycle now. Here it, you can write cyclization is taking place. Okay, minus the COPO, COPH is removed in one step. What has, what all things have happened? And this COOH is removed and the ring has formed here between this nitrogen and this carbon. So you can see, you can see. So other things are eliminated. So now what we have got is quinone. Now what we have got is quinone. Now we need to get quinoline, uh, quinine. So what is the difference? So I want here OH group. So how you will get, okay, obviously ketone 2 OH, it's a any reduction you do, you will get this product. This is our quinine, which is a racemic mixture of, it is a racemic mixture. When we do resolution, I will get a minus quinine. Why it is minus? All the alkaloids you remember, it is they are levorotatory in nature. So I am getting this quinine. So final structure is this you can write. So I hope you have understood. So 
you can divide the synthesis into three parts briefly i will discuss once again so just i will make sure you have understood so this is the first part this first page you can see this is the first first part hope you can see everything so just i have taken the starting reactant so i have done this and then comes a second one where i am struck this structure is modified into this meroquinin part i am synthesized i have synthesized and then what i will do this meroquinin part with quinic acid i will condense then i will get this this quinine usually almost done now i get this so when i get once i get this i will start doing with some changes little modification to get my quinine so if you are getting confused you can go also come in the reverse direction in exam if you are getting confused you can come in the reverse direction at least from here till here you can come in the reverse direction easily so once you come till here so, sorry once you come till here it is a very easy to find these two reactants so once you get this reactant you can come with this this step so always uh, the synthesis which are quite lengthier you should understand the product and you and some reactants you remember some steps you remember and if you want to come from starting to end that is also correct if you want to come from end to starting point then that is also very good option so any one option you can select whichever you feel easy hmm? so if you like this synthesis video please like the video if you if you want to share with your friends please share it comment it and if you want any other synthesis like synthesis on natural products or any other concepts on chemistry please do comment on that topic name so that i will prepare those topics and i will upload on the youtube so thank you for watching this video Thank you very much.